Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the Cafe Cozy, both the Cup Cozy and the Press Cozy in this tutorial. Check out the drop down description box below or go to johnamartinez.com for more information. Now let's get started! For materials I'm using one skein of this 100% cotton yarn. This is 71 grams or 130 yards. I got one coffee press cozy and one mug cozy out of one of these skeins. You will also need an H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a wool or yarn needle to weave in ends. You will also need two or three large beads or buttons. So two buttons or beads for your coffee press cozy and two buttons or beads for your mug cozy. To begin, create a slip knot of your choice. Then for your coffee cup cozy, you want to chain 31. And for the press cozy, you're going to chain 41. To chain, yarn over and pull through. This loop on your hook never counts as a chain. You can count your chains by counting the V's. Here I have three chains. Continue until you have 31 chains for your cup cozy or 41 chains for your press cozy. Row one, double crochet into the fourth chain from hook. To double crochet, yarn over, Hold that loop on your hook with your first finger, insert your hook into the chain, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. There's our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet into each chain all the way back. So each one of these V's will get one double crochet. And for me, I like to just grab one of these three yarns right there, but you can also grab two if you like. So again, just double crochet into each chain all the way back. Once you get to the end of row one, you will have 29 stitches for your cup cozy and 39 stitches for your press cozy. The chain three turning chain will count as your double crochet in this pattern. Turn to begin row two. Chain one and single crochet into each stitch all the way across. This chain one does not count as a stitch. To single crochet, insert your hook, Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Once you get to the end of your row, you want to make sure and single crochet into the top of that previous chain three. Turn to begin row three. Chain three. This counts as our first double crochet, so you want to make sure and skip this first V here. This next V is going to be the next stitch. We're going to front post treble into the next stitch, but it's going to be down here like this. To front post treble, you're going to yarn over twice, and we're going to be skipping over this single crochet row here, and we're going to be grabbing the post of this double crochet from row one. So to grab that post of the stitch is this upright right here. And you're gonna take your crochet hook and go from one side of the stitch to the other. Then grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And we're gonna be doing this again, so don't worry. Now we're going to begin the row repeat. Double crochet into your next stitch. So remember, this front post treble right here is going to be taking care of one of these stitches back here. So the one it lies over, like that, that one's been taken. 
So this next stitch here is what we're going to be double crocheting into. Double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops for the double crochet. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Now front post treble. So it's going to be this stitch right here because we've already done a double crochet into this stitch. Yarn over twice. You can hold that yarn on your hook with your first finger. Grab the post of the stitch. Insert your hook from one side to the other. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have four loops on the hook for the front post treble. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So from here we're going to repeat this all the way down our work. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post treble into the following stitch. Repeat all the way down your work. Once you get to the end of row three, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row four. Chain one and single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Remember for your single crochet rows, the chain one does not count as a stitch. single crochet into the top of that chain three as your last stitch and turn to begin row five. Row five, chain three. Double crochet into your next stitch. Now we will begin the row repeat. Front post treble into your previous double crochet down here. Double crochet into your next stitch. And then we're going to repeat this all the way down our work. At the end of row five, double crochet into your last stitch. Turn to begin row six. Row six, chain one. On your single crochet rows, that chain one does not count as a stitch. Single crochet into each stitch all the way across. From here, you're going to repeat rows three through six until your cozy is as tall as you need it to be. And you can adjust this as needed. For example, this is my coffee mug cozy right here. I repeated rows three through six and it brought me right to here. And then I needed it a little bit taller, so I went ahead and repeated rows three and four. I like to end on a single crochet row. I think it makes a nice edge for the top of my cozy. For my coffee press cozy, I repeated rows three through six until I had 18 rows total. My coffee press is about seven inches tall. Once you come to the last row of your work, you're going to snip your yarn and leave a nice long tail so you can weave it in. Grab your yarn with your hook and just pull that tail right through the last loop on your work. After I have completed my cup cozy, what I like to do is grab the cup and see about where my buttons should go. So here I am wrapping the cup cozy around my cup and I need a button here at the top and also a button or bead down here at the bottom. So when I finished off my cozy, I had this long tail to finish, so I'm just going to use that to attach my button or bead. So I want my bead to be sitting right about here. So I'm going to weave in the end a little bit like this. 
go through my button, back into my work, and I like to use one of those single crochet rows because it's nice and solid. And there's the button right like that. Then I'm gonna go back around like this, back into that first, or this last, single crochet row, through my button again, or bead. This makes sure it's nice and secure. Back into that single crochet row, and then I will tie it off. And from here you can just weave in this end, and to weave in, you just do this. For the second bead, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find that single crochet row here, and then I'll just go into my chain down here. I'm leaving that tail loose at the end and quite long so I can use it to tie it. Going through my bead, then into that chain. Then I'll go into that single crochet row again, back through my bead. into that chain. I'm going to weave in and out here a little bit. And then I'm going to tie the two tails together. And then I'm going to weave in these tails. There, the beads are all on my cozy. And now I can try it on my cup. So because of how the stitches are with these double crochet, they make the perfect buttonholes. As a quick tip, I wanted to show you how you can easily count your rows for this pattern. So of course, this is the bottom of our work right here where we started and you can tell by this chain right here. So this is our first double crochet right here where we chained and then you can see the third row here with another double crochet because it's long like this. Well this thick part right in the middle that is a single crochet right there. So that's our single crochet row. So we can count one, two, three, my cup cozy rectangle is nine inches by about four and a half inches. My coffee press cozy is about 12 inches by about six and a half inches. I hope you enjoy making this super fun cafe cozy. Make sure to tag me in your Instagram photos at Jonna Martinez Crochet. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye.